Alright guys, welcome to Red Dead Redemption. This is my favorite of all the Rockstar games. Um, as you can see here, we have the base game, and we have Undead Nightmare. We are going to play through Undead Nightmare, just I, I don't know when yet. But, we're going to start Red Dead. Um, and yeah, like I said, this is my favorite of all Rockstar games. So I'm super excited. And I did look, and I popped in my 360 copy, and then I popped in, I went on the PS5 and just opened this game to look at it. It does look way better than the original version. And admittedly, I did not want to spend $50 on this, but they made a fucking ads like all over GTA 5 and I was playing GTA 5 with my friend and I was like dude this game looks sick and he was like yeah if you buy it I'll play it probably and he doesn't play single player games so I was like fuck it dude I bought that shit real quick I always love this intro too because it shows that the west is dying you know and that's really why this game feels so special it shows the end of an era It's beautiful. I love this. I do have to mess with settings a little bit, but we'll do that after this. We are going to play through RDR 2 as well. I want to. Because I've only got about halfway through that game before. But this is just the best. My favorite of all the Rockstar games. So I felt like I had to play it. But I mean, you can see that it's definitely higher... Um, Resolution, because I think the Xbox version runs at like 720p, um, and the PS3 version. So you got 1080p, I think it might be 4K, but I think it's 1080. Water textures are better, draw distance is better. Overall, the game is clearer. Lighting is still not insane, but it is updated a little bit. Controls should feel somewhat the same. Um, and yeah. Can't think of anything else. And we are going to take our time with it. I know we got Cyberpunk coming up um, at the end of September. But I, I do want to take my time with it. Because I haven't played this game since probably 2013, 2014. Yeah. So, I am grateful, Mrs. Bush, that I want to take my time, and I want to, I want to go to like the, I want to do side stuff, because I, my first playthroughs, my, my first couple times playing this game, I never did side stuff. Like I would explore and just kill shit, but I didn't really get deep into the side activities. Because I went back and I played GTA 4 a couple of months ago too, and I realized like, dude, there's so much that game I have not seen. I think the PS3 era for Rockstar was the best. You got Midnight Club LA, um, Red Dead, and GTA 4. And I love all three of those. Those three are some of my favorite games ever made. It's crazy, too, that we still don't get that many cowboy games. It's picked up in the last couple of years, for sure, Not with, like, Weird West and Evil West and RDR2. But no, there's just not enough. Pirate games and cowboy games. No, 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 two things you think we should have a shit ton of, we have How none of. A man even got a car it sucks. <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor, which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns, yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here... So I'm pretty before. sure, too, this game is Arizona want to be and but this New state Mexico, be maybe? Such a disgusting family. A family... I don't know. I think it's. I think it is Arizona and Texas. It's just weird the way it's set up. And then you got Mexico, of course, that you don't go to until like three quarters through the game or something like that. It seems that money can buy voters, though.
I want to open up this map too and kind of look at it compared to RDR2. I think they both have a shit ton though. RDR2 just has a lot more forest, like Colorado kind of area. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other. And who let you worship in Yeah, I'm gonna look at this real quick so I can look at them. It, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. Armadillo. Okay, yeah. Now I remember. Yeah, I forgot how big RDR2's map is, because it has literally the whole base game except for New Mexico. Like, or Mexico, I mean. The whole base game of this. I forgot how big this map was. Let me look at this real quick. Oh, we got the War Horse, too, because... Yeah. That's so good to see. <laughs> God, I miss this game. Let's go to our options real quick. Why was it disabled? Um, so normal... Flip R1 with R2 and L1 with R2. Golden guns. We'll do golden guns. Just to have it look a little cooler. Because that's purely a cosmetic thing anyway. Um... See, there is anti-aliasing. I don't know... I don't know which one's better. How do I, uh... Turn autosave back on? Because it fucking turned off for no reason. Oh. I don't know why the fuck it turned off. So then we got our journal, of course. Challenges. Then we got our outfits. See, I've never even, like, unlocked most of those outfits. Because I would always go through and just use cheats. Alright. Got our weapon wheel. Hell yeah. Good looking game, though. It definitely looks better. This game looks really crispy, actually. God, this is so good. We might turn off Golden Guns later too, but we're gonna have them on for now. Original audio. I think this has the PS3 lighting, and actually, no, this has the 360 lighting, not the PS3 lighting. And the 360 lighting has a couple issues. Pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. Looks really good. Mr. Marston, sir, uh, back ain't gonna get us to the fort no quicker. Uh, gang came by, robbing and killing. For some reason, they left me alone. Well, here, uh, let's mount up and hit the trail. Yeah, it does feel pretty good still, actually. I went too fast. I always go too fast on that part. I'm pretty sure too if you hold X it just follows the same speed as the guy you're supposed to follow. So it's Fort Mercy you want to visit? That's right. Ain't taking nobody Let's up see. to the fort in a long time. Just Green hold X. I don't remember the camera play. being so zoomed Who out. Who said I was a decent fella? It's been abandoned for years now. Folks say it was built during the Mexican War. What kinds of soldiers around back then? Why'd they leave? Well, I ain't entirely sure. I I heard they had to go up north to fight Indians, or maybe they got tired of being soldiers and went looking for gold. You know how things is. See, so look how crazy that fort? skybox I'm looks. Looking for an old friend. Well, like this I is said, legit how our sky looks, though, a lot of the time. Folk around those parts these days. No 
Nice clouds. I mean, I ain't one to judge a man by the company. Oh shit, I was looking at this guy. Well, he ain't been friends for a long time. I'm just trying to get used to shit a little bit. Are you planning on spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, See, that's something I didn't know you could do. I didn't know you could company, change you do which side the camera is, is on. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Steve's Landon. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> God, it's so good to be back playing this game. I know I talked a lot of shit about this port. <laughs> and I ended up buying it anyway. I don't recommend you guys to buy this for full price. I recommend you guys waiting until it's on sale. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. Talkative, are you? Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. That's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you better off not knowing. That's one thing that always pissed me off, too, is the hitbox of these the fucking meat. deer. <laughs> Almost there, Mr. Marson. Just over this hill. Oh, sorry. Listen, and this is before Rockstar made first-person modes Some and gang shit. Rolled in and took the place over. So I understand. But first-person and RDR in well, GTA 5 ways, just does man. not feel right. Anyway. You have yourself a good time. Come for you, Bill Williamson. Come out here right now. Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill. I implore you, think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you. <laughs> implores. I, I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Poor you. Isn't that funny? 
Tries to be a badass right out the gate, gets bopped. This is how we, um... Fuck, what's her name? I don't remember her name, but it's been her something McFarland. Because you got McFarland Ranch. I really don't remember her name, though. But it's McFarland. I just can't remember McFarland what. And his wife's name is Abigail, right? Got a trophy already? Complete Exodus in America. This Platinum looks so much easier too. Because I wanted a Platinum RDR 1. But I didn't want to do the multiplayer trophies. So now I'm going to Platinum this. Which will be nice. <clears throat> well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. You should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr... Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarland. Miss Bonnie. Bonnie. That's McFarland. her name. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarland. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> you see my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. <clears throat> All right. Here we are. McFarland Ranch. <laughs> so, basic campsite. Oh, I didn't know it refilled ammo. I did it, like, purely for immersion. Then we got our war horse. You already own that type of horse. Save that deed for another time. Oh, okay. Then you can climb shit, because we're awesome. And then you can go up here. You can use that for cover. Boom. I can't wait to play Undead Nightmare, because I never played the DLC. At least not extensively. Because I got it probably in like 2018, I want to say, is when I got the DLC. Because I got the Game of the Year edition of Red Dead. So I have two copies of it. And I um, I bought that. And I played probably two or three hours of it. And then just never went back to it. Because it's, I don't know, it's hard for me to stay playing my older consoles. So I, I just never back went back to, to it. Living, so it'll it's be fun to play on Dead Nightmare. Back that $15. I sure can use an extra pair Look at those heat waves. Here. Let's see if we can get you back in the saddle. All right. Oh, sorry, bitch. God. There's the foreman. I love being in this it's game. where we lock up good for nothing outlaws such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. 
Okay, let's see if you can still ride a horse. Come on, time for you to see what a real ranch looks like. Which way are we going? General store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. See that draw distance is so much better too. Makes the game look a little Here's worse because it, it wasn't meant to load think? shit that far. I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than broken. Now, where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. Come on, boy! I remember killing a chicken, I think, and people just lose their shit. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished. Bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. I love the ranch missions too, where you have to like go and get cows with the lasso and shit. It's so fun. That's the barn over there. Paul built it himself when I was just a little girl. And here we are, back at the house. Let's stop for a while before we head out on patrol. You'll get no complaints from me, Miss McFarland. drink mr. Marston thank you ma'am getting shot then riding a horse seems to take it out of you <laughs> I could use a rest sure come on in I'll show you the house and then you can sit for a while thank you mr. Marston miss McFarland remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables I do Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. Tombstone's haunted in this game too, huh? Because in RDR2, Tombstone is an actual We'd town. We're just getting moving. This is a dangerous time of night for us. Sorry, bitch. Gold repeater because it got golden guns on. Easy now. Let's go. Keep your eyes open and try not to get yourself shot again. Funny. Come on. I'm pretty sure it's just rabbits and shit that we end up killing. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. Might have to fuck with that sensitivity a little bit. It's real low. Honestly, though, that, that's probably fine. Let me see real quick what I can do. Oh, I can't fuck with... Oh. Oh. It don't even matter if I wanted to. <laughs> oh. Like, legit, I think it, all it needs is literally, like... God just that. Like, it, just a couple notches. Come on, let's get rid of them once and for it's all. still a little rough, but that should work. Ah, oh, fuck. It's because I had a gun out. Hold on. Don't start shooting them yet. Hold on. I I could have used this, didn't you? Hold on. I got a hitch, fucker. It's not hitching. I'm just gonna get off it. Nice. 
This is like one of the only games too where I, like I'm okay with it using lock-on because it's hard as fuck to kill some of these animals without lock-on. And it makes you feel like a badass when you just lock on to all the fucking enemies. Where'd your gun go, bitch? I can't fucking run because I'm supposed to be following her. Was that a coyote? Get those pets before they scare the livestock! Come on! Come on! Shit, when we lived far out, we would have to do stuff like this too. We wouldn't kill them, but we would scare them away. I know how to get to my room. It's you know, funny too, because as I'm playing, I can like perfectly remember these missions. Maybe Bill it is the beginning though, so we'll see if I can stay like Lucky that the whole way through. Because I've probably, I've probably beaten this game three, That's four sure. times. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. Ow. We'll do whatever and we no, can. that's not true. I've probably beaten it like sure twice. That, but I've started it, started it, and gotten Mr. most Marston. the way through multiple times. Because I'll, I'll like, uh, be, there used to be like months where this is the only game I would play. Thank you for your help, Mr. And then I would go play something Thanks else, come back and do a new playthrough. Same thing with Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. Good night, Miss McFarlane. Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas, I've probably played, like, the beginning of those games, like, ten times. And I've, like, each. And I've probably only beaten in each game, like, twice. If you sleep, you'll wake up six hours later. You can also pick up extra ammo for the trunk, from the trunk in your room. That's what I was trying to do earlier. Because I remember having to mess with this. We're gonna probably try to go for max honor. We'll see. It's just hard, cause to do max honor, what you you what you have to do is um um to get max honor, you have to like not kill anybody and stuff like that for like bounty missions and shit. But I don't know. It's really hard. So. We'll see if I'll be able to do that. Old school, it's an old school save system right here. Yeah, this is old school free right here. She doesn't have a hitch at her house. So I gotta... Mr. Marston, how are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only will I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. 
And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets, so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. They got great um, chemistry together, All you know. Right, I'll show you how we ride around these parts. Oh, damn, she's running. She's running. Whoa. How are you, ma'am? Oh. Fucking turn around, bitch. Oh, too fast. I gotta remember On that my horse has stamina. Three, two, one, go! Because that's the I thing that used to get me with this race, this. is I would forget that my horse had stamina. And I would burst, and then you would get exhausted. But as long as you do burst, and then you hold it so it stays a steady pace, and then burst, and just keep repeating it. Should I wait for you to catch up? You'll be okay. Because then you just hold Are the you pace. The best for last? Then you speed up again. Do a burst. Oh fuck. Right, you're starting to regret your oh work, shit. Whoa, I'm yeah. cheating. I'm blatantly cheating. Oh fuck. Come on. Oh, okay. Um Fuck. <laughs> Go back. Fuck. That sucks. I wonder if I can just shoot her in the back of the head. Like, I didn't mean to fucking do that. I was going too fast and I didn't turn early enough. That was the problem. I don't think I'll be able to catch up with her, which is fine. You don't. I don't like 90% sure you don't have to win this race. From what I remember. At least I think you don't have to, because I remember losing a shit ton of this race. But as you can see, I'm catching up by using that tactic I was saying, where you do burst then you hold it so that it stays a steady speed, and you burst again. Hold. And you burst. Come on. I have got you now. Fucking rock, dude. Come on, Mr. Marston. Follow me. Whoa. Would you like me to slow down? It'd be so crazy to live in the Wild West. I mean, I'd be dead at like 22 or whatever, but that'd be sick. Neck and neck, Miss McFarland. I think you chose the wrong horse, Miss McFarland. Come on, save that stamina for that final burst. That's how you win that race. I do I do remember losing that race a shit ton though. I thought she had a hitch right here. I could have sworn she that did. That was fun. Sure. You know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. Well, I'm pretty sure I have to do that, so. Fame plus 20. Oh, uh, we'll probably just keep doing Bonnie's missions for now. Since we're still here. Because once we go to Armadillo... Oh, Mr. Marston, how are you? 
Good oh yes. Farland. How are you? Never mind, I well. remember this mission. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. I think she leaves us in you Armadillo can take the too. Reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> take the reins, Mr. Marston. I remember some crazy shit happening on the back of these wagons. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. Damn, see, when you played through this game, you could, in the original version, you could not see this much stuff like this. Shit. Because that's, oh shit, because that's Armadillo all the way over there. It's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends, Miss McFarland. That's crazy. Oh, please. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad man. Oh, stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking snakes. I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Mr. Farland. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. It is not, but it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Sorry, hold on. Alright. I was just trying to see what's the best way to get our keep our honor up, but we just gotta generally abide by the law. But we'll see how it goes. Hello there. Finally come to get that bullet out your leg. Appreciate it. Maybe it's time I bought a new buggy. Or perhaps a rat. Oh, can I pet the dog? I don't remember ever being able to. No. He just gets scared. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once, and the little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take the stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. 
I like Bonnie. She's cool. See, and that's something I never learned to use either, it was stage coaches. So if we zoom all the way in, we got stagecoach, taxi, train. Because you can just ride the train as far as you want. Let's go into the gun store. I know we have no money, <laughs> but let's go in there. And then you can also, uh, as you can see on the map, you can uh, buy properties. This is just one little room, though, in the bar, um, I'm pretty sure. We got the movie house. Very cool. Please feel free to browse my selection. Hey, mister. Nope, we can't put no price on safety. Very cool. We'll probably go for the Winchester as soon as possible, and then the double barrel. I can only put the Jeb Murphy name on top items. Because... Like, I don't know. The, the, volcanic rifle's pretty, or pistol's pretty good, but it's, it's just not for me, really. Rabbit's foot, campsite, spiderless map. The be the thing we want to do as soon as possible is get all the maps, from what I remember. And then we can get different horses if we want. But, yeah, so, what I remember, correct. Um, from before is just get all the maps as soon as po possible. Cap much. campsite is always uh, useful, but that's what we want to do as soon as possible. I know we can't afford that because we have no money. <laughs> yeah, so let's go do the marshals um, quest. And I've n I've never actually used one of these. Let's go in here if it's free. I've never actually used one of these before. Yeah, it's two dollars. We don't have any money. What is wrong with this country? <laughs> but yeah, so we'll, we'll have to give that a try because I've never done that before. Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> Shut up, you! And what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. <coughs> I did? Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come on, what? You, you getting cute with me, boy? What's going on here? I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. No, no. Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. Dude, they're just fucking you. spitting everywhere. It's so gross. Oh, I haven't seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking whore. <laughs> what are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's 
hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister, and I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right. Tell you what. <sighs> Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. <clears throat> cool. The saloon's this way. God, I love this game. So who are we looking for? A bunch of two-bit hoodlums, led by this fella called Walt. Goddamn road agents that prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the reins these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. But the way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folks. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. Dumb rat bastard now. Let's follow him. See what kind of hole he crawls into. Well, damn. Let's go, Marston. I've been after that son of a bitch for months. He spotted you. Stay on him, boy. Let's go. It explicitly says, do not kill him. We need to stay on him. If Walton's as bad as you say he is, why don't we just beef him down while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshal? And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality, and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walton's gang's been growing fast. That law is easy money for easy work. These boys get around. Walton's a start, but there's plenty more where he came from. Come on. Got yes. some deer down here. <laughs> He's headed for Pleasant's house. Let's stop. So we can get a better look. We got company, boys. <laughs> Damn. Take cover. We'll work our way up this hill. All right. Arson, I got you covered. Move up to that wagon. There's one behind the crate. Take it down. There's too many of them. I need a loot. What have we got here? So hardcore mode too seems kind of cool. It just makes the game just genuinely harder. You know what I mean? Obviously, ammo's harder to come by. Um, there's less loot comes off of bodies. It's just all around like a more realistic experience.
Not a bad shot, Mr. Marston. Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. Yeah. All right. A little bit of exploration now. Got 20 bucks, so we're at 32 dollars. Pretty dang good. Just check out the house. We're at 69 dollars. All right, let's see. That's crazy. I didn't know that. So you could use the camp as a fast travel? I just need to look at something. So yeah, our honor's at Drifter. Fame's at Nobody. Can you replay missions? Oh. I didn't know you could replay missions. Oh, this is... There's so much shit that I didn't know about. <laughs> So much shit. Oh my god. With how much I've play it, played this game before, you would think that I would know stuff. So we unlock this right now, too. Because we got the first piece. Interesting. Very cool. Let's go put our camp down and try out that fast travel system. Because I did not know you could do that. Something right here. Skin and shit is the best way to get money. From what I remember. Camps for you with a horse and additional ammunition if you have none. They also allow you to travel to any town that you've previously. Yeah, see, I did not know that. I did not know that you could use a camp as a fast travel. I used to literally just put the camp down just to save. Game fame and money across the land. Okay, so we can change our outfits here. Travel destination. That's cool. See, that's so cool. Because I used to waste so much time running back and forth. Especially between Armandillo and McFarland Ranch. Because they're so far away from each other. And there's literally nothing the whole way through. So we unlocked a new challenge. Sharpshooter challenge. Um, I think challenges are in journal. Yeah. So we do this and we get something. Complete challenges to unlock rewards and become a legend of the West. So sharpshooter rank one. Disarm three gang leaders. Hogs high four prostitutes. Kill ten enemies with a shotgun. Okay. Finally, I'm still unlocked. Oh, okay. Okay. So you gotta do certain things to unlock them. Beat sharpshooter. Rank 4 to unlock this challenge. Five enemies and one dead eye burst. Kill 20 animals and or humans. Interesting. We have dead eye, right? Yeah, we do. Let's try to kill five birds real quick, because we we're not going to be able to do too much more anyway right now. In this episode. I don't know what those hand symbols means. Five finger fillet. Oh, yeah. American appetites. There's so much shit. <laughs> we're, we're, we're barely starting. Let's see if I can find some birds, though. I don't remember how to use this. I think I hit R1 and it'll lock on if I remember correctly. Somebody's shooting.
Who's shooting? Don't mind me, officer. Mind on other things? Oh, they're just going through town shooting shit. Okay. I don't. I know you have to go like a certain distance outside the town before birds even start spawning, like animals in general. So let's, let's go out a little bit and see if we can get at least sharpshooter rank one done. Mount has some increased stamina because we're gaining loyalty. It might be too late in the day for many birds to be spawning. Alright, well, this is fine. This is the. This is a perfect time to end the episode anyway. There's a bird. See, so I don't remember if it's R1. Fuck, I might be too far away. I am too far away. But, so we'll, we'll end the episode here. Um, next episode, we'll go into town. Um, probably hit up the general store so we could buy those maps like I was talking about um, earlier in the episode. There we go. Bird down. down so that's that's three out of five right there I keep getting distracted so boom take a feather see is there any more Let's go. I remember hunting a lot in this game I just don't remember why I hunted I knew it was for something. I just, I just don't remember if it was because selling pelts is the best way to make money or what. But I do remember doing it a lot. Sorry, I was gonna end the episode, but if we can get those last two birds real quick, that'd be dope. Got some skunk and some deer. I'm not seeing any birds. And it says flying birds, but if they're on the ground somewhere, we're, we're fine. Yeah. Hey, right, I'm just gonna have to end the episode. Um, so next episode, like I said, we'll hit up the general store. Think about buying those maps, and then possibly try to finish up this sharpshooter cha challenge, rank one. We only need two more birds, so... Got a treasure map. Awesome. Alright, well, that's going to do it for this episode of Red Dead Redemption 1. Um, if you enjoyed, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below what you guys want to see on the channel in the future. And I will see you guys very soon in the next one. Stay safe out there. And peace out, guys.